ow, 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 ah, I can't put my arms down. Hello, my queen bees. Welcome to the Buzz Coach channel. Talk about how to lose weight and help you live your best life ever. Okay, y'all, I gotta say something. Your girl has come down with a case of the pinched nerve and it hurts like hell. You've never heard of a pinched nerve before? Chronic pain that happens from repetitive motion, poor posture, what have you. I've had this pinched nerve now for about three weeks going into a month and I was doing the most mundane thing, people. It all happened when I went to go reach up at a cabinet door to open it to go get something and that's when my entire arm and back locked up. I can't put my arms down. Okay, I gotta sit down. So I decided why not share my journey of figuring out how to get rid of my pinched nerve with all of you, my lovely fans. And who knows, maybe it might help one or two of you. I'm gonna be doing these exercises, techniques, posture things, pillow stuff for sleeping all throughout this week. And I'm going to report back on how I'm feeling, if it's helping bringing any sort of relief. So we're gonna be looking into all of that. And of course, anything with a pinched nerve, you're gonna find out what's the best solution for you. I'll be providing a list of all the resources that I find, like videos, helpful tips, tools, whatever, in the description below. Be sure to check that out. If you have a pinched nerve, I want this thing healed now. Anywho, now begins the journey of fixing my broken neck. Here we go. Hola. First things first, I need to get immediate relief because this is starting to hurt me real bad. So while I was looking for exercises, I stumbled upon a YouTube video done by two physical therapists by the name of Bob Shroop and Brad Hennick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and follow along to that video and see how my neck is going to react to it all. <sighs> Here we go. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shroop, physical therapist. Brad Hennick, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. Yes, you've got to correct your posture because that is often causing or contributing to the pinched nerve. Gotta correct the posture. You wanna do some shoulder squeezes, Brad. Right. Then go ahead, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Ooh. And you can do, you know, count to three, count to five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my God, this is amazing. Our people were doing chin tucks. So you're backing up your chin. I'm so excited. Tuck, it's gotta be up tall, arch the back, and then work that chin tuck, work that chin tuck, work that chin tuck. I'm in love with the chin tuck. You're so laughing. <laughs> When you see your blind date for the first time. <laughs> when I look in the mirror every morning. <laughs> but you want to get it back like this and then you bring your arms up like this and you just do some angels. You bet. Going up and down. And you're strengthening while you're doing this. Yeah. The roof. The roof is on fire. Look like an angel. Right. Thank you, Bob. And you do the chin tuck first. Work that chin tuck. And then kind of rest into the chair and go back. And if you get back in here, a lot of times people are getting back in here and they'll get a sharp pain and they'll hurt over in the shoulder blade. Oh. And if it really hurts like that, then you need to stop. Don't push yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to stop on that one. Towel is always a great way. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a towel for this one. Oh my god, that's so much better. Oh. The one that I like to do is so you're going to chin tuck and then go <laughs> this way. Give us a smooch. Oh my god. Wow. I feel so much better. I've been having this pain for almost a month now, and to have this tiny bit of relief is just... Oh, it's a miracle. Sorry, I got emotional there. Next, I investigated why I was having all these pinched nerve issues. And then I realized it all had to do with the most boring answer in the entire world. My posture. Dun, dun, dun. I work at my desk a lot, and after some careful scrutiny, I noticed that my posture was just completely out of whack. And lucky for me, I found some super simple solutions that I could easily implement. I reorganized my entire desk so that all of my tools were at comfortable, non-straining angles for both my shoulders, my arms, and for my neck. I added a rolled towel to the back of my chair so that it could add extra support. And I'm going to include a list of optimal body positions that you should be using while sitting at a desk and operating a phone in the description below. And you guys, nobody told me how hard it is to keep a good posture. So I decided to make my very own neck collar using an old pillowcase. Cause I'm broke and I like to be creative, okay? First, grab yourself an old pillowcase. Fold it in half and then fold it in half one more time. Wrap it around your beautiful neck. And there you have it, your very own collar. Feel free to decorate it as well. I added post-it notes. I'm uh, not so very good at this DIY thing, am I? It's pretty. I feel like a 90 year old woman. You like my collar? <laughs> Things we do for our health. Mm -mm. Then came the pillows. Oh, you Now how do I put this? Finding a way to keep my body in the right posture while I'm sleeping 
sleeping is so freaking hard. And I experimented with a lot of pillows, starting with night number one. Got my little towel. I'm gonna roll it up on my neck in addition to the pillow, and we're gonna see how it goes. Now this is a cute look. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up. I've been sleeping kind of haphazardly. I sleep on my side and then I like to switch and sleep on my back. The sleeping on your back pillow is not the same as sleeping on your side pillow. It meant that I had to wake up in the middle of my sleep and find the pillows and adjust them. It's not a fun time at all. <sighs> I can get some beauty sleep and not look like this in the morning. Actually, I don't look that bad. I'm cute. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. <gasps> I'm a little stiff, but not as stiff as I was yesterday. This is promising. Ow, I shouldn't do that movement either. All right, well, time to get ready for the day and put on my neck collar. Sexy. God, I sleep like an animal. Get some makeup on this beast. My arm is doing okay with the repetitive motion. I'm already feeling really good with my arm, people. That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> Should probably turn this light on. Whoa, this is really good. I can be a normal human being and it's coming back to me. Coming back to me now. I'm gonna go put on my neck collar. I'm ready for my close up, Mr. Bill. Back to being a social butterfly again. One, two, three, release. Girls when taking profile pictures. Mm. Uh, yeah. Girls taking silly pictures with their friends. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I just finished my exercises. Super good news. I am feeling a lot better. Pain is starting to recede more and more. Keep doing what we gotta do. This is great. I like whispering. The second night was a little better, but it wasn't that great either. Now we're gonna go ahead and try this other pillow that I have. It's a memory foam contour pillow made by Sleep Innovation. What makes this unique is that it accommodates both side and back sleepers. Let's see how this goes. It's time for bed. Pillow me. Good morning, everybody. Day three, I just slept on the contoured pillow and uh, I sleep on my side, I sleep on my back. And having to adjust the pillow every single time. Like if I wanted to sleep on my side, I'd have to change it like this. Then if I wanted to change it back on my back, I'd have to do this whole rigmarole. <sighs> oh, it's exhausting work. So we will be continuing our pillow searching and I'm going to have to brainstorm on another idea. Now, the pain that used to be like up to here yesterday is now back over this way. Whatever I'm doing is working. Thank God. And for night number three, I found yet another pillow. But this here is a buckwheat pillow. A buckwheat that are just stuffed inside of a pillow. And what's really great about this is that you can adjust it to mold into any shape that you want for back or side sleepers. So let's give this bean bag a shot. My neck is feeling a little sore tonight, but hopefully with this new pillow, things are gonna change. Time for bed again. Pillow me. It's three in the morning. I woke up completely in pain. Um, this is the first time anything like this has happened. I don't know if it's the pillow. All I know is that I just woke up and my entire back was completely stiff and throbbing with pain. I'm really not sure what the hell is happening to me. <sighs> this part here is completely like inflamed. Yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. Just woke up and everything, my whole entire right side is numb. I can't even imagine what some of you go through with this kind of stuff. I've heard people have pinched nerves for years and it just it's just constant battles with feeling completely in pain all the time and I... <sighs> That's sad. That is really, really sad. A lot of it has to do with how we sit and how it affects our posture. And, and a lot of us work behind a desk. I mean, no wonder we're all starting to have these issues. It just makes you miserable. And that's not what life is about. This is all part of the process, right? One thing works, you think it's going well, and then you wake up the next day and you're completely in pain and you, you're just wondering what the hell happened. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna do this together. I wanna keep it real. I wanna bring you all with me and show you how frustrating this process can be and how incredibly rewarding it can be once you find a solution that really works for you. So let's get started with our day.